Hello and welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my brother Bryson. Hello. And we're going to be talking to you today uh, about your questions and your comments that you had on uh, the previous uh, podcast that we did, as well as yeah, as well as uh, the weekly peak that recently came out as well. So let's see. Can we remember what stuff. happened in the last weekly peak? I know it was <laughs> yes, only yes. a few I days do, ago, do, do, but you and Dad put in a light in the in the master bathroom. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. we put together a bed and painted a stove. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. IKEA furniture. Uh-huh. No, and it then, wasn't really uh, IKEA, but yeah. And then uh, uh, Ellie and Garen started work on a chest out of pallets. That's right. I, they, you know what's funny though they they cut all the pallets up, but they didn't use any of them. They just used the two by fours to build it. Later. Well, just for now. I, mean, I know they're just for now. Go, they're gonna go in I, on it. I know, but it's kind of funny though. They like got all the pallets all ready, and then they just built the frame out of two by fours, mm-hmm. which makes a lot of sense. That's, but that's multitasking. They're gonna is, have it all put you together. Know what? Next the week. next video is just gonna be like done. A minute in, they're just like, we're done. We got everything assembled last <gasps> everything video, so this video is way easier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so I thought uh, we take the first uh, question here from Catherine. Um, sorry, my eyeballs aren't great. Uh, uh, Malcolm, I think, here. Uh, and she at, says, uh, what about beach towel curtains? Uh, to remind you really quickly Ooh, of last podcast, we talked about um, having, I, I gave you my story about the curtains and not wanting to sew and having my <laughs> dreams crushed. Um, so that was a good segue into it. And I love the idea, Catherine, of beach towel curtains. Unfortunately, I've already purchased the cloth, but maybe in the future, if I find some cool beach towels, I might try it. That's an interesting idea. You know, I also have a solution for you not wanting to sew. Oh, yeah? You just knit. Knit some curtains. I just knit curtains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't, be... don't want to sew, but you can knit them. Yeah. All right. Well, and that leads us into. Oh shoot! I, I thought I had all of those up, oh. but I I didn't have them all up. I oh. thought I would be last week. I was like, man, I've, now you've done it. I I uh, I had this. I even sent them to me in order, but they did not come in order. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. So there was another one here. Beach towel curtains. Um, and then we had a lot of people come through and say, uh, uh, gave me wonderful ideas for not having to sew. There was uh, really awesome ideas here uh, that were given to me. And I was like, oh my goodness, I really wouldn't have to sew if I didn't. Uh, like this one here from um, Rick Bailey says, uh, there's a sewing, there's sewing products called stitch witchery that will fuse two layers of fabric together. Um, uh the upper hem and the lower and you can cut the eyelets without it fraying which I, was awesome and then there was one oh, another one too called like the, something with fraying in it as well that was suggested and i i loved that idea but um i decided inevitably well actually shay shay i think shay might help me sew if i can get my hands on a sewing machine Oh, we'll just maybe use hers. We're gonna we're gonna sew it. So, I think she's gonna help me sew it. If not, I feel like I can do one line. Like I feel like I've got to conquer it. I have. This, a, I feel like I got to conquer it. But I'm so happy. Thank you so much for all your wonderful suggestions of things uh, that I could do for the for the uh, the curtains. I, I actually have another really idea nice. for I for the curtains. That. Someone may have already suggested this too, but you know that patch material that mom used to get for for oh, ironing yeah? on patches. Yeah. What if you cut like a really long strip of that? Fold it over and just iron it on. I think that's what I think that's what this stuff is. Oh, some iron, already... there's some that are iron okay. on. There sounded like there was a lot of different okay. things that you could use. I was thinking because I wasn't Including sure hot if that's glue, what... which I don't think cool. stays for very long times so when it comes to hot and cool. Yeah, I don't know about the that. The swings we get doesn't usually. You know, you could um, just JB weld it. It would be one heck of a stiff. <laughs> well, not if you did it in patches. Oh. JB Weld patches like here, yeah. here, 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 here. Then <laughs> it, you know it's just little sections. Like it'll fold up like a little yeah. like like a little like um, you know like a almost like a a not a what do you call them? They're not curtains, but they come down shades. Oh, and they shades. Come, you know, and they come down. And they fold down. Oh. It would act like that, but sideways. Sideways. When you fold it up when you. you know, that would close be an it. interesting where you. It wouldn't be a. It wouldn't be like a. You know, they have the cupboard. The word things swing. Oh, it's too much to explain. <laughs> Stephanie Hauser said, "Bree, uh, you collect rock shells and etc. Um, for memories. Paint the dates and location and experiences on the bottom, and you'll always know. Uh, 
and have a 3D album. I love that idea, Stephanie. Oh, I think that's I will. A cool idea. I think maybe I'll work at least a date on whatever we find, just to have it on there. Um, you know, and then maybe we'll do a video on the experience or something, so we can keep the memory around and share it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Depend on the memory, I guess, huh? <laughs> it would depend on it. Yeah. You didn't like. Yeah, or like um, you get like a coin press or something. If you didn't even get a coin press, and you like press out coins with dates on it. Oh no, that's interesting. And you just and you maybe like I don't know if you could press the glass or the rock into the metal. Whoa. You like press it in. That'd be intense and well, cool. Th- it would be really intense. But cool. Ooh, actually. Ooh, and you could do a, a charm bracelet with them. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, cool. okay so uh, now that was on the podcast last week and so uh, on the weekly peak this week we had jb edison said wait wait i wanted to hear your thoughts on the new mattress and i debated putting this in here because <laughs> i i'll be quite honest with you it was it's a little bit too firm for my liking um my my back is a, is adjusting and um I, I actually, a firmer mattress I'm, I'm, than I normal. bought like a, a pillow top to put on top of it in the hopes that maybe with the combination of the two, um, I will reach the ideal uh, firmness and softness that. Because uh, it is quite firm. It's it's so firm, but it, it is one of those it mattresses. Be a bad thing. No, for some no. People. I think I think that if it was just you're just so slightly perfectly shaped. <laughs> perfectly just, shaped. When you're on the bed, you just. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't conform to you as it much. Conform, yeah, and I don't know, like if they're a pair, like a pair of shoes. I've never had a mattress like this. I don't know if you have to like be on it a little bit, and because it's not memory foam, it's up. like a, it's just foam. Like it's they had different levels of it. It's like a lucid. So, I don't know, firm. But they like they were, had raving reviews on Amazon, so I was like, ooh. But so I've thought if you put a maybe bunch firm of firm isn't really huh? If you put a bunch of UV dye on your like clothes yeah and then you just lay down like you normally would you can see sleep where for the night and then wake up and you can see for the where you slept <laughs> at night and then you just cut it out of the bed I just, just, <laughs> just 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 cut just it out that one spot just cut the chunk uh, out and put something more cushiony in there wow and then you have these nice hard I edges just have a brie have a <laughs> You know, like they have in the those crime scenes where they have the, <laughs> the person on the floor. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Okay, Stephanie Hauser had a second one. Um, the other one was on the podcast. This one here is on the Weekly Peak. Um, she said, welcome back, Gary and Shelly. They're actually not quite back yet, but, but thank you. Uh, we'll be back soon. Let's see here. You can put a small whiteboard at the end of the bed where the gap of the drawer is. Put a little whiteboard there was her idea. Let's see, draw on it. Yeah, that was an interesting thought. I really liked it. That's a it. cool idea, but what about, what about accidentally erasing it at night with your hair? My hair? And your head. Which way do I sleep? It's okay. Hang on. It's okay. On the end of the bed, right? <gasps> oh, the end of the <laughs> bed. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the header up at the oh, top. I'm sorry. And I, I was like, you know, what happens if you just go stretch and just... <laughs> and then just... All your drawings away. gone. <laughs> and your wonderful marker oh, in your hair. Oh, at the foot of the bed. That's But no, I see what you mean. At the end of it. Yeah. That's a great idea. That I is like a that great idea. idea. I do like that idea. I always thought it'd be cool to build a piano into a bed. Because mm-hmm. you got all the space underneath. I thought that'd be yeah. kind of a fun idea. Yeah, for sure. Then you have a nice piano built into the, the back. All the keys are in the back. But then you have a full-size piano under the bed. Yeah, and then you the would bed never lifts even know up, there. you know, like the grands do. Yeah. I really like that idea. It's really cool. And then you have this giant piano in your room. With the full aesthetics of all that noise. Yeah. That beautiful acoustic. Uh-huh. And it's all under your bed. That would be so cool. You know? Be so and cool. That goes out from underneath it. The only thing I... I it would be really hard to, like, keep tuned. There's so much stuff on top of the... I don't know. I think it'd work. You'd have to make, like, an automatic tuner or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's something I'm sure you have uh, up your sleeve. I, uh, I have thought about it. <laughs> I always thought it'd be cool. Cla- Caitlin uh, Blodgett said, "When uh, when Bree says she's going to paint something, just the stove black never came to mind. I figured she would have I don't know green stove with flowers or maybe under the seas thing, which I love, but I was a little limited because it has to be uh, the stove has to have like heat resistant or whatever it is called like heat. I don't know. There's there's a specific name for it, but mm-hmm. it's the it's stuff specifically for the stove. Otherwise, it burns off once the stove is lit." 
So yeah, there was a lot of a concern about having the bed too close to the stove. And I know I've said this before, but I, I have no intention of lighting it when it is in this particular um, orientation layout. Yeah, because it is yeah. too close. I agree. I would never start it that close. To the, <laughs> it'd be as way too close. And it's a wooden bed. It just is a, would be a recipe for disaster. I really appreciate you looking out for me. Yeah. But I agree. It's too close to light. <laughs> too close. Too That's close. the one thing I wouldn't put under a bed. A fireplace. <laughs> it just would be a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it is a brilliant that. idea. Maybe it keeps your bed warm at night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Nico, I apologize. It's going to be like really small for my little eyebrows. I, I think it's Nicoli Yo says, I feel like the outside of Bree's room needs an update to match the update inside. Which is, uh, I don't know if it'll get an Probably update. Probably a good idea. But I feel like before winter comes. Eventually. Yeah, I feel like before winter comes, we should make a big pat batch of like, um, just like cement stucco. Yeah. And then just hit all the places on the buildings that need, you know, need to be that. looked after. Yeah, because uh, when we were doing Bree's room originally, we just did the regular stucco. Mm-hmm. which oh, It was cob. Or cob, sorry, cob. Yeah, it didn't and have any. It, it didn't, um, it when you have the cob like that water can actually just like wash it off the side of the building yeah so unless you have like really large eaves around the house or building um stucco isn't really too plausible maybe if you could cover it in something maybe maybe like linseed oil the whole building before you paint it if you could even do that i don't know if you you could do that you might be able to do that but you know something to seal it um so that you know, water doesn't just wash it out. But yeah. Some people like the, you know, like the and breathingness of it. when we say water, we're like, because we get, we're in the desert, we get gushers. Yeah. So, like, it's like a river of water. And, I mean, if you it, painted it, it, like, really, really good. And it's only mine. Because mine yeah. has no concrete or cement to, like, to bind it. To bind it. And so then it, when water just comes, it, it gets in the holes of the paint. Because yeah, for whatever cracks. reason, there's holes oh, in yeah, the paint. Yeah, paint cracks And then it just, time. it just keeps flowing all yeah. the cob that's behind it out onto the ground. And, and takes a big ice cream scoop out of it. Huge chunk just falls off the wall yeah. because of it. It would only take like an afternoon. We could do oh, a big batch. So simple. It would be and so then, simple. And then, then maybe repaint. We, we've actually something. done it before. If you look at Bree's building, you see these different colored patches. <laughs> Those are patches we've patched before. Um, yeah, and, and we then change the color of it. Garen, uh, Garen's room also has that as well. Yeah, Garen's room has so, that as well. Yeah. yeah, but Garen's room was something different with his. We but. did paper bag on his, and we're gonna yeah. go. I think we're gonna eventually do the whole thing in a stucco too. I think, but it's held so. up surprisingly well. I yeah. thought so. We had some it's tears, and we a just very it in. interesting idea, mm-hmm. and it worked for a while. But well, I mean, it, there's still a chunk of the building that's still there. It's just, you know, with time, true. things, there's just no way to get around having to service things. They, they just that's eventually, true. True. I mean, as years go by, you could you gotta, build like the most, like, less serviceable thing you could possibly think of, and mm-hmm. eventually you would have to service that thing. <laughs> it just it. It happens. Stuff just falls apart. Yeah. So. You know, use, it occurs. Use happens. Yeah. When you use stuff, they break down. <laughs> Yeah. When things don't move and they're exactly identically the same, <laughs> they still break down. Still do. Time the temperatures and time, all the other stuff, still break it down. Yeah, <laughs> you know? For sure. For so. sure. Well, we have got, uh, we've got, uh, well, you're the first to know. Yeah, you can't tell, don't tell mom or dad, <laughs> but uh, no, they know. But we're going to try to get as much as we can done on their room. Uh, we want to redo all, uh, it's the only part of the house can. Uh, mom and dad's room and their bathroom there that hasn't been remodeled um it's yeah. still the original lots of the original stuff from the house and um we did th- we did mom's kitchen because that was more pressing they mom and dad wanted to do that one first uh, and then we'll get out and do the uh dad's workshop as well which those are places i think they they wanted to do first but um Never really got around we just we figured we're yet. here we can do it we didn't want to do any work on the um the bathroom wall until mom's back because she's got those um she, she's got that cool bottle thing she's been wanting to do for forever and it just seemed 
it just seemed like something she should be there for to yeah, see, we you know, come to life for her. Do that so her. we're like, all right, we'll just, we'll pause that for a little bit and focus in on trying to get that room really as nice as we possibly can. Um, yeah. Bryson and I spent eight hours in the car collecting materials <laughs> and we went back to the store to Driving get more. Driving all around, yeah. getting material, used materials. Mm-hmm. We bought flooring, which may or may not be enough. We really don't <laughs> know. We added up yeah. the square feet. Yeah. And it adds up to like a hundred and... 20 130 something kind of like yeah. 130 we'll somewhere around in there we have enough and we have like 110 feet or something like that yeah. that we think I we have we're not really sure not, but. so if it does work it will be dreadfully close it, it will be so close, close. I, well our plan is to because we have other flooring so we'll just we'll, Ooh, i have a brilliant idea we just won't do like the the what do you say closet yeah, like we don't do the closet and like under the bed. We'll be perfectly. <laughs> and under the bed. Yeah, it's a little bit. Hopefully we'll have enough. But Hopefully it's a we'll really cool flooring. It's and I'm, super and, uh, cool. Mom, mom and dad have, haven't seen it yet, but um, we don't have I'm enough to we'll pull it up and use it somewhere else. Yeah, for sure. They make great cool. ceilings. Yeah, it's really. The it's wood a really flooring neat makes flooring, great ceilings. I thought, yeah. So anyway. It, it, it's funny. <laughs> you wouldn't think the wood flooring has ceilings, but. I'm pointing because we're it's a wood yeah. ceiling up there, yeah, but it, it makes a gorgeous, gorgeous ceiling. Yeah, yeah, really does. Sure. So if you get a chance to try that, you should. It's anyway, so fun. we're gonna be we're, we were every spare minute. Bryson's hopping in there because he's he he's getting the plumbing and stuff set up getting for the shower going. and and stuff like no. that. We're gonna we'll get a bunch it to of little the... things here and there. There's like some strengthening strengthening up we need to do, and we're gonna build like a se- secondary shelf and stuff in there. It, it's gonna be really cool. At least that's the shower part. Yeah, for sure. And we're going to retile it in there, too. We've got some yeah. really nice tiles. So That's cool. That's yeah. going to be really cool. Yeah. Particular tile is going to be. Yeah. So we're pretty we're pretty excited about all that stuff. Yeah. And get as much done as we can until uh, before mom and dad get back. You know what I like about that tile, too? I feel like it's going to wa- hide water stains if that ever happens. Yeah. Well, it seems all, to be inevitable, especially with our hard water. So yeah. Sadly, nice. it happens. Nice you can does. get rid of the hard water, but. And it's not easy. Like, <laughs> and then you got to buy like a water softener. And, and what's even weird about those water softeners? Yeah. You buy minerals, like mineral, like salt blocks, basically, yeah. to yeah. put in those water softeners. Mm. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it like pulls the, you know, the, the salts and stuff out of the water yeah. by using like salts and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of weird. That's cool. It's really neat. I don't know. You probably can't hear because it's too faint, but Chip's down here snoring. He's just snoring away. And then we have... Uh, Luna, Luna here. Luna's hanging out. And then the other too. two, they make way too much noise they when make, they're in here. They're so just, they've almost they're knocked just, over so many chilling. things last week. We love having them with us, but maybe not with um, uh, they with the equipment yeah. that is where it's at. <laughs> These mics do not like to fall. No. <laughs> and we don't like to watch them fall. So. So. Okay, so I let me, I got to get in closer because I'm blind. Uh, Lulu him, I believe, is, is uh, a... Do you do illustrate breed? Do you do illustrations for other companies? And uh, my answer is no, not anymore. I used to. I did that for many years. And um, she did beautiful, beautiful art. Well, I don't know about that, but I sure had a lot of fun uh, doing them. And now I, uh, all the art that I do is for the channel and for the T-shirt designs. I haven't been able to do. I like to do a new one a week, but I haven't been able to have any time to do it because we've been putting the videos together. But I did get a new one in last week, which was the. Uh, was it shine and dandy i think is what it was yeah, yeah with the light that yeah that's in. great so that was that was really fun i love i'm a i'm a cartoonist so i i love to draw and uh you know like fun stuff like that so yeah anyway i i it's poured really that cool. into the into the shop which is more what i run now for that kind of stuff but woodman Hughes said uh where do you all see yourselves in five years well i can't speak for the rest of the crew um but i i for me i'm i, I see myself continuing to do uh my little homestead oh yeah and, and the weekly peak oh, yeah. and uh, totally. certainly doing a job that i love a lot i'm hoping to i have a musical that i've written and um i'd like to produce that eventually, uh, eventually. and i would like w- be nice to at least be started on it <laughs> within the next five years um yeah. but uh yeah i'd love to produce that and and get that out into the world but um yeah, yeah, more music and stuff. I think I'd like to add in, but certainly doing what we're doing. I don't know about. I think we we all just love what we oh, do. Yeah. I so love. I see I myself love doing do. this. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to be engineering something, building something, to be eventually mass produced or mm. 
just to be temporarily built yeah. one of the two i'm i've found that i i love the engineering aspect of a lot of things so eventually that will become more and more mm-hmm. hopefully i'd love to get into more stuff. production too i'd yeah. love to be i want to like be able to like build something that's you being sold on a constant basis i don't like manufacturing so to speak mm-hmm. so yeah. i think that would be a lot of fun yeah we've got a lot of ideas a lot but of things that we want to do entertainment and also a uh, product that we'd like to products, create yeah. things that we'd like to invent i think for you especially uh, especially for me yeah. and um uh, we got a lot of a lot of dreams a lot of a lot of big dreams our, our parents have always been like anything that we wanted to do even if it was crazy you know they're always like yeah yeah cool do it you know that sounds fun you make know? it happen they're always so so, so supportive so, yeah always been always so, so supportive of us yeah. and um and yeah. I remember, um, <laughs> you know, you, you'd think that this would be crazy for a young, a young boy or young kid or whatever. But when I was really young, like I'd say like 12, 13, something like that. Yeah. I wanted to buy a 3d printer. I wanted to buy, and 3d printers at the time, the one that I had my eye on was $25,000 or $2,500. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That's which was a lot better. $2,500. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a maker bot. And they were like the top of the line. They were pushing it at that time, mm. and they were the ones you know, you get. And then they had some other ones like the Soddle Doodle, so, I think Solder Doodle or something like that, mm. um, and some other ones that were a little bit cheaper, um, but they didn't print as good. So they, you know, you wanted the better one if you mm-hmm. could get it. Um, but I ended up finding one that was more seven hundred dollars, and it was a little Kickstarter campaign. Mm. And at the time, I between like a. Uh, it was like kind of a birthday present too when it came in, but it was a between a, my birthday present and slash my own money, and yeah. we kind of put it together, and I was able to buy this 3D printer, and it came in a million parts. I put oh the whole thing gosh, together. Yeah. But to this day, I've always had a fascination with 3D printing. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the robotics of the print or actually having the print print something. I don't know. But I always thought it was just. It just I, fa- I get so fascinated with them and um even to this day like recently i may or may not have splurged and oh, bought another printer printers, but here's yeah. the thing here's well we had i have the make the delta kind yeah i've got the resin kind, yeah yeah and i found that the delta my main fdm delta printer is always breaking down well it's not so much breaking down it's i get an idea and i go oh, i could put this on it and it would make it so much better to print things i could put this on it and i could print in different materials now yeah. i could put this on i could put this on i could put that on and then it becomes really reasonable for me to do that kind mm-hmm. of thing and i get to modifying it and it's months that the <laughs> printer's broken because yeah. i'm just figuring stuff out i'm just trying to tinkering with yeah, it till i get it working mm-hmm. and i just kind of recently went you know i need a printer that i can set off to the side that's set up ready to print and i don't modify it it just stays it just the works. same and yeah. it just works mm-hmm. and that's the one thing i love about the resin printer it's so simple to use and i can just plug and play it it's mm-hmm. super nice the technology nice. has definitely gotten better it, yeah the technology has yeah. gotten better since went back and, then okay too. i just want to back up just briefly sorry not to take <laughs> us around in a circle but um when he says it came in a bunch of, of little pieces i'm not <laughs> kidding like so, the the you could have like accidentally like sniffed and parts would like <laughs> They're so tiny. That's true. You could have blown a little and pff, they'd all fly away because there were so lot many of small little pieces. Bolts that was a, and I thought, and when those things pieces. came and you pulled it out, I was like, how is that ever going to become a printer? How's, and, but you, you stayed there for hours and hours and you got all of that and all of a sudden it became this printer from this boxes of, looked like tiny little that debris that you picked so up outside. Fun. And it was, oh, it was amazing to watch that print. That was and so much fun. That. The first time. Gosh, it was amazing. I still remember this to this day. The first time when I went to home the printer, the first movement it ever did, we hit the button and one tower went down the other two went up <gasps> and the whole thing went and you know it oh stops and rubs on the belt a little bit right yeah. just dash to remember it <laughs> and it's because the belts matter what side you put them on oh. will depend on what direction they move uh, and uh to this day I, oops. I i still remember that it was like <gasps> Like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and there was no on and off switch on that particular time because oh. I got the upgrade later for that, but yeah. there wasn't. So you had to unplug it physically to shut it oh, off. Wow. But eventually, I just hot wired it to a power switch, so I had that <laughs> switch. But and then yeah. eventually did a bunch of upgrades to it. But yeah. anyway, that was uh, I still remember that. 
And then I printed a fun. whistle. Amazing. And, I think and then he, he actually, whistle. he you, you raised the money too with that can thing. That's right. Because, yeah. yeah. So. Cause at the time when you're younger, you don't know, kinda but yeah, know it's a good, what to do, but we got to raise the money somehow. Cause yeah, I mean, they're, you got to make it somehow. It's like, $700. Hey, Mom, can I have $700? <laughs> hey, you mind? Uh, can I just, no, you know, we need that for food and water, honey. I'm okay. only 13, <laughs> barely deciding on what dreams I want to do, but I want to spend $700 right now bucks. on this project that may only last a week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but so. it really turned out really yeah. quite a good thing um, yeah, to that. Fun. To this day, that printer is still mm-hmm. alive and kicking. It is. It's, it's not moving. quite printing at the moment because I decided to upgrade it. You know, yeah. but um, yeah. but yeah, that's well, why yeah, I got another it's one. a good example of of the support that that yeah. mom and dad have given us. Is amazing. Yeah, yeah so supportive. So. Who knows? Who knows? I I think we want to do a little more traveling too. Just just oh, yeah. travel. I think travel. we would like be to fun. do that a little more and see our world as well just you know we'll take you along with us that's the cool thing we get to take you along with us and and do our job from the road and to us it's just you're not really working you're just kind of playing the whole time you know these are this is like one of the things that even if the camera wasn't there these are things we would be doing anyway it it just makes sense to i can't imagine not you know it's just like it doesn't even yeah like this is what we love to do for sure it's something we love to do i didn't you know, I hope I hope you like it too. I mean, I hope you're, I hope you're enjoying <laughs> it. We, uh, we, we sure, sure are. are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are enjoying ourselves. Yeah, so. so, a lot anyway. of fun. Even what? if big failures happen, it's still fun. Oh yeah, we got to take you along fun. for those too. It wouldn't yeah. be real. If We've we had some interesting ones happen. Mom says, "No, you don't learn. You don't fail. You just learn. You just yeah. learn. Yeah. yeah. So we like taking you. Nothing is ever a failure. You just learn. A, yeah. You learn what just not to learned. do. It's just like what Einstein said. There was that. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah einstein einstein no um thomas edison said he didn't find out like 300 and some odd ways how how no no it was more than that it was more than that it was something like that uh, like uh, three thousand ways or whatever how not to make a light bulb so it's like he just found that many oh. times how not to make it he made a yeah. lot of flashes apparently no i don't know <laughs> but he did until he found the right moment or whatever they call that for the it's very fascinating mm-hmm. but yeah and i'm sure other people have tried a million times trying to build things and still are to this day. Yeah. They'll you know. figure it out. And I always do. thought the harder it is f- to accomplish something, the less likely someone has already done it. <laughs> usually. <laughs> so if you, if you have to work really hard to get something done, most likely someone hasn't done that yet. Yeah. Because, you know, if you can basically outwork someone else, yeah. you can accomplish great things. And s- even with small work, you still can too. Yeah, but for sure. small relatively brilliantly placed work you can sometimes <laughs> efficient, <have> someone, <laughs> efficient. Yeah. well anyway but. thank you so much i think that's gonna wrap it up for us today for today's podcast yeah. we're gonna be back again on uh wednesday got some uh a sweet potato salad recipe that we put together today and uh that'll be coming out on wednesday and then we'll see you again 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 on the weekly peak we're going to be doing i think probably on that bathroom is going to be featured this week oh, yeah. for us and oh, then yeah. hopefully the ending of the chest for uh garen and hopefully, i'm really excited i wanted to do cool. that i can't believe it. i was like oh my gosh i was just thinking about and actually researching how to put one of those chests together and here they are this week putting one together i was like no way but i'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out it's gonna be oh, awesome. before we go i have to tell one little story that happened today oh um okay. keo our cat yeah um i was doing some piping off camera just some piping work yeah and and um, I was, I was, you know, I had the glue out. Yeah. And I'm like, oh gosh, I don't want to get this on the cat because he keeps rubbing up against me. <laughs> I'm like, oh dear. And I had a little bit on like my finger or something, and it got on him. <gasps> and I think it got like close to his mouth a little oh, bit. Oh no! Because because he got really upset at me. He was like, meow, 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 like oh, went away, smell, and then he probably. started like they cleaning like himself. Smell. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> I think I just got like a little bit on him. But then I was thinking about it later. I'm like, you know, that cat. He he doesn't know when to swallow when he starts to purr. It's like a like a condition. Yeah. So he just sits there drooling. <laughs> Stuff just comes out of his mouth. So he makes this puddle on you if you Ugh, just sit there petting him. It is quite it's quite quite disastrous. <laughs> and I was like, oh great, I just get a tiny bit of something on you, but you tend to drool on us all the time. We don't get mad we at you like mad this. At you. <laughs> <laughs> it is very funny. That's true. But he eventually came back around. And was like, okay, I'm okay. Happy. You're, you're, you're fine. forgiven. You're fine. I got that stink off of me. <laughs> yeah. I was making. I was like looking up to. I was making sure. But yeah, it. I think it just got like a tiny little bit. On me. Probably was just the smell. It was, oh, you know, it might have been just the smell <laughs> probably too. Probably just the smell. They don't yeah. like this smells. But, you know. All right. Well, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us and we'll catch you again on Wednesday for that midweek peak. Bye. Bye.